him. Pivotal Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. GA, it's all yours. Well, we all saw the media frenzy that surrounded Anthony Davis when his plans to leave New Orleans emerged. He said, the things I do in the community, being a good teammate, playing hard, championships, all that stuff matters the most to me. Between money or legacy, my legacy will win that battle every time. Kevin? Winning a big part of it, David. Thank you. And now the Lakers starting group. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. And it's Rondo in at the one spot. And for the Jazz, Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Conley against Rondo. Here's Mitchell. Out to Conley. Takes a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And this pumps the whole team up. Conley's shooting ability brings energy and excitement. Jake. And finished off by LeBron. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know, he's not going to mess that one up. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Yeah, near the hoop, he's an absolute monster. Pocket six, and it's Conley penetrating from the Bengals. He can't get that one, and it's the Lakers the other way. He can bounce back from Wednesday's loss. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. You know, I think the lack of success from the perimeter really did them in. They just couldn't get it going from there. Rondo can't get it to go. Utah's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Mitchell. Green with the block. Now the Lakers on the break. James with the ball. It's good. LeBron's got his second basket of the night. You know, it would be fun to tabulate how many of LeBron's career points have come on the break. I would just venture to guess he's had a bunch of them. Finally, the pass to Mitchell. Over Green. Another miss by Utah. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Chance of gone just one of four to get this game started. Out left to the wing. Conley with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Conley gets the bucket. And the vision there from Bogdanovich. He's skilled. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. That's to Green. To the inside. Here's Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And he knocks down the first one. Davis is really the total package, a mobile, sharp-shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Here's Conley. He's got five. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack the confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. And that one's good, James. That's as good as you can defend LeBron inside, and it's still not good enough. Conley dishes to Bogdanovich. To the paint. Gobert can't hit. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Rondo's shot is good. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. 
Rondo against Conley. Over Rondo, takes the 12 footer and hits. And it's nine points for Conley. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Here's James, and the dunk by James. Tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. Conley, the pass to Gobert. And that one, good. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Pass to LeBron. Over Bogdanovich. James, no good. Jazz have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Mitchell, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Utah Jazz. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Free throw drops for Mitchell. The Lakers trade. Holds it up for Davis. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And so it's Utah here with the ball. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Here's Bogdanovich. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. At the elbow, it's James. And that one, good. James has got ten points in the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. That shot off. Great D that time from Green. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a group. Rondo, bounce pass. The second effort. LeBron passes to Kuzma. They shoot again. That one goes in. Taking on everybody, all comers. Kuzma's very aggressive, and he's used to getting hit on the way up. Plays well through contact. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Davis with some nice D. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Now here's Rondo. Fades and shoots. And Davis can't get it to go. Mitchell against Green. That's good for Mitchell on the assist by Conley. He's got five. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an answer. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Demarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. Shots good by Green. That's their third straight make off an assist. Lakers trail by four. Now Rondo, the 
pass to Cousins for Davis. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Pulls up. Moutier, no good. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And Davis sends it back. To the middle. Here's Exum. Makes it off the glass. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. The Lakers have gone 7 of 15 for the field at this point. Bradley kicks to Ronda. Caldwell Pope outside. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Hey, now watch out when Caldwell Pope is on the attack. He penetrates inside fast. Back to Exum. Down low. It's stolen by Bradley. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Utah leading by four to the inside. Boudier with the basket. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's Rondo. Softly drops in the floater. Rondo's got his second bucket tonight. And at his best is Rondo when he's attacking in the paint. Beautiful little floater there. Easy to get it up and over the defense. Six to shoot. On the wing, Green. Shoots over McGee. Green, no luck. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. No one covered. Green. And it's now only a one-point Jazz lead. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Right side, Green. Passes to X. McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot blocking. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. And the length of green is a real issue for the dude. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls. For him. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First free throw is good. And, and the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. That one misses, so he goes one for two. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Brand a rebound by the Jams. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And, and they look strong here in the early going. Caldwell both outside. Pass to Cousins. Outside for run. And it's off from three-point range. Caldwell Pope against Moody in. A floater, and it's good on the way. Now it's a four-point jazz lead. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Davis sends it back. McGee's shot is off. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And Rajon Rondo, the basket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Six points for Rajon Rondo. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. And so it's Mike Conley making highlights for the Utah Jams. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back to the action after this word.
We're back at the Western Conference Final. Happy to have you with us here on 2K Sports. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers. Trailing by two. They've got O'Neal. Exum is out there with Moutier. And there's Davis. And it's Green in at the four spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. If he's one thing, he's efficient in the paint. Rondo really good with the positioning there close to the basket. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting at 50% in a decent group. It's going by Moutier. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got rebound number five here tonight, and they take the lead. Bradley's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Yeah, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. Tipped away. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by five on the clock another miss by Utah Los Angeles leading by four it is Caldwell Pope blanketed by the D fights to the rim for the layup Caldwell Pope's got 11 I think it's important that Caldwell Pope makes these shots showing real toughness converting through contact out of bounds the Lakers will take possession and some changes here for the Lakers and Davis has checked in for JaVale McGee Kyle Kuzma comes in for DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Green in for Avery Bradley. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Green kicks to Caldwell Pope. Green taking his time here. Shot clock at six. Pass to Davis. Over Gobert, and the Lakers check on two more. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Conley with it. Now Green defending. Conley's shot is off. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And it's James missing. Jazz trail by eight. Pat Donovich wide open. They get it back. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Here's Ingles. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Man, he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. 
gets tipped. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played, and it's blocked. Helps to have a shooting guard who can block shots, a real bonus, and Caldwell Pope does a nice job at stiff arm and shooting. It's LeBron with the drive, lays it up and banks it in. LeBron's got 12. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Conley laid the pass to Gobert. Now the pass to Mitchell. His three-pointers off the mark. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 12-4 run right now. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. And here's Conley. He's got nine. Kicks to Mitchell. And Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Caldwell Pro passes to Kuzma. Dreams outside. Cuts it five. Gobert with the rebound. Gobert has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. That one good for two. Nine points for Donovan Mitchell. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. Inside, Davis. And Davis throws it down. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. And there it is for him. 11 points in the game. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. James in the post. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Caldwell Poe passes to Kuzma. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. You know, once Kuzma has the position he wants inside, he does his thing fearlessly. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Mitchell. Tries it from 19. Kuzma pulls it in. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Los Angeles. They lead by four. Caldwell Poe passes to Davis. Gobert with the block. And he gets it back. Utah has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Mitchell gets to Conley. Green against Mitchell. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists in the game. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Pass to Davis. The dish to LeBron. Shot clock at five. Davis can't get that one to fall. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Ingles passes to Conley. Mitchell with it. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Again, Mitchell missing. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. Gobert with the block. They recover it. Davis against Gobert. Second chance shot off the left rim and out. Utah trailing here. Conley the pass to Bogdanovich. That ties the game. Bogdanovich has got his second basket. The size and the focus. That's the big thing to finish it over the defense. Bogdanovich showing exactly what he can do. Los Angeles calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Los Angeles 
will go for a different look here. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Anthony Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Bradley's checked in for Green. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. Knocked loose, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two. So it's Utah now. O'Neal issues the green. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Picking up his second foul here has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Pass to Moutier. Outside, Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Trying to find Moutier. Gets it to him. Misses the layup. The Lakers in the lead. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And it's McGee with the jam. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Exum kicks to Moody. That shot misses. Bradley with some nice D. And he's just pulled a hairy D in this quarter. He's completely disappeared. Weight room muscle on display there. James, even when he gets hit, he can still score. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And James, no good on that one. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. Every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to see him at this level. Rondo, good. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Exum passes to Moody. Back to Exum. And they get it. Nice D from Cousins. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. And it's good. Two points. Cousins has got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. And the Jazz call time here. You look at James. What a contribution. And he's getting to the rack all game. And if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Fourteen left in the first half. Now, here's Exum. Tight defense on him. That's tipped. And it's Bradley. That time on the assist by Rondo. Rondo's got assist number seven for him tonight. Jazz trail by 13. Here's Exum. Only one man back on D. Launches the three. Rondo's shot is off. And so it's Exum with it. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Outside, Davis. They kick it out to Green. Lock at six. Now the Lakers on the break. LeBron. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. What a play. Race. Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. 
Moutier looking around. And so it's Los Angeles. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their transition game has been in full effect. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came out with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Uh, like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we want to get easy basket on layups, uh, knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. Taking a look at the Lakers, they've come out tonight and put the hammer down. They're obviously anxious to finish this series right here and now and not leave anything to chance with a game seven. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And Shaq, how do you think the Jazz were playing? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all laid on their rotation. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. You know, I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better. Huh? And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. It's been a clinic out there by James. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo and at the one. Shot clock at five. Here's Davis and another basket for the Lakers. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Kept alive. Here's Mitchell. Great tee that time from Davis. Los Angeles leading by 17. James looking it over. Over Bogdanovich. And it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Mitchell. The Lakers with the rebound. And they start the second half with three straight misses. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Kuzma. 21 points for LeBron. Over the years, his catch-and-shoot jumper has gotten so much better. You can tell LeBron's really worked on that part of his game. Here's Conley. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys, missing their first four attempts. That's three of four here to start the half. For Utah, they've gone 0 of 4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Back to Conley to stop the run. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Rondo finds Kuzma. Bogdanovich against James. Takes the 13-footer. That shot off the mark. Gobert with the defensive effort. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now. And it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. Outside Rondo, he dishes it to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Pulls up from the corner. Gobert pulls it in. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. 
They're scoreless since the first half. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. On the perimeter and on the inside, too. Bogdanovich able to put points on the board. The pass to Davis. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And the shot goes in. Conley's got 13. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Here's Rondo. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Lakers making a change here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Conley against Rondo. Passes it to Bogdanovich. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Lakers leading by 20. Pass to Green. And it's Green with the jam. Rondo with the nice dish. Here's Mitchell. He's got 11. At the top of the key, Gobert. He kicks it to Conley. On the wing, Ingle. Just four to shoot. Here's Mitchell. The Jazz again can't hit it. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. And Kuzma slams it in. Boy, he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Rising off the ground like that. Kuzma takes a lot of pride, not only in finishing with finesse, but power, too. Mitchell's shot is good. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. Los Angeles has gone 3-6 tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Doubled by Conley. Caldwell Pope dishes to Davis. Back to Caldwell Pope, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. Yeah, you got to be careful how you defend Caldwell Pope because he's got great speed and he knows how to use it to draw contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's off on the first. A sharp shooter with a quick trigger release. Caldwell Pope is known for being an efficient scorer. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. And the second free throw, good. Jazz have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Conley kicks to Mitchell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. The first free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Caldwell Pope, and he takes that one up and powers it through. You know, he entered the league as a straight-line dribble driver, KCP. He's worked hard to add some wiggle to his game. Cousins against Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Buries the long-range jumper. And that's 17 points for Donovan Mitchell. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make him pay when he's open. 
And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Mitchell outside. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got four assists now tonight. Green against Bogdanovich. A rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 10 points in the quarter. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Cousins, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Cousins. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Time out, time out. And the Lakers lead by 21. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Utah calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. is checked in for Gobert. Green comes in for Joe Ingles. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Mike Conley. And then for Los Angeles, JaVale McGee comes in for Anthony Davis. And it's Avery Bradley in for Caldwell Pope. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. For Utah, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. The first one at the line is good, and Utah making a change here. Axum's checked in. Both free throws good for Moody. Lakers leading by 19 points. Bradley dishes to Cousins. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Jazz go the other way with it. The drive by Mitchell. Yep, that one goes. Mitchell's got 12 points here in the second half. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Green kicks to Bradley. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Cousins, it's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Joe Barry's checked in for Utah. Shot clock at three. Here's McGee. The offensive rebound. Can't hit that one. Jazz trail by 17. Outside, Davis. Kicks to Moody. To the paint. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. The Jazz have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. And he makes the first. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Joe Ingles comes in for Royce O'Neal, and Mike Conley subbed in for Moutier. 
connects them, hits them both. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Los Angeles with another miss. A total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. And here's Conley outside. Rebounded by the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Kuzma, and the layup's good off the glass. Kuzma's got eight points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Out to Conley. From deep three-point range, but they get it there. Count it good. Six points for him. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Conley against Green. Back to Bradley. Pass to Cousins. Launches it. Rebounded by the Jazz. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Conley, the pass to Davis. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got assist number seven for him tonight. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Timeout called the Lakers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Checked in for the Lakers. Hondo comes in for Avery Bradley. 59 seconds left to play in the third. James with it. Picked up by Davis. And there's the foul. It'll go on Ed Davis. That is his first foul of the game. 55 seconds left in the third. James wide open. Nailed from three-point land. LeBron's got 26. Boy, he's fantastic at playing to his strengths. Doesn't get outside of himself. I mean, when he's scoring at an efficient clip like that, he's hard to stop. Gobert against McGee. Five on the clock. Conley with the three. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the third. James against Ingles. LeBron with it. He's got 26. Over Ingles. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's Los Angeles with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We've got more in store for you right after this. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. 
And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Gobert is out there with Davis, and it's Ingles in at the small forward position. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. Back to Davis. Pocket six. Here's Conley. Gets that one through the hole to make him now 7 of 13 in this game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. Feeds to Mitchell. Six to shoot. From the Bengals. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Conley against Green. Dishes it to James. Plays it up off the glass. James has got 28 points for the game. Boy, LeBron's so strong, so athletic, so smart. I mean, a bunch of his points come when he's driving full speed downhill, and he's impossible to stop. Lakers leading by 18. Here's Rondo. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists now in this one. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Conley kicks to Mitchell. Gobert down low. Cousins is there. Here's Davis. Comes up empty down low. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the call. Utah the foul. Jazz making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. And he's good on the second. Jazz trail by 21. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Mitchell passes to Conley. Just five on the clock. The pass to Mitchell. Over Green. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got 25 points in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Davis. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his 16th rebound on the night. Down the kicks to Mitchell. Oh, good on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And good that time. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Offensive rebound. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Gobert dishes to Bogdanovich. Passes it to Mitchell. Outside Conley. It's up a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. 
Green's got rebound number five here tonight. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. Conley kicks to Gobert. Back to Conley. Mitchell outside. Utah gets it back. No good on the shot. And here are the Lakers. They've got a 13-2 run going. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And he chose the conservative finish with the nice, easy layup, which was a good decision. And the Jazz called time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. from the inbound. That's good from Moutier on the assist by Bradley. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Has to cook. McGee against O'Neal, and he gets it to go. Eight points for JaVale McGee. Hey, there's a reason why he shoots such a high percentage, guys. I mean, he picks smart shots, high-quality shots, in close shots that he takes. Bradley passes to Moutier. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. It's on JaVale McGee. At the line for your Jazz, Emmanuel Moutier. Taking two shots. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here is Cook. He lobs it up. The shot's good from McGee. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 13 rebounds. Utah's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Bradley finds Moutier. Takes the 13-footer. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. L.A. has gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three-ball here. Cook the pass to Daniels. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Caruso, the pass to Daniels. Five to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. McGee's shot is off. And for the Jazz, they're shooting for the game at 42%. Here's Williams Goss. The rebound by Cook. And it's Cook with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. And that one's good. Daniels. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Williams Goss, the pass to Brantley. Jazz passing it around. That three off the mark. The Lakers with the ball. 
Caruso kicks to Daniels. Pass to McGee. A second chance effort. It's good. McGee's got 10 points in the quarter. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Bradley dishes to Moody. Goes back up. And it's Bradley laying it in. Bradley's got his first basket of the night. Lakers shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Cook the pass to McGee. Here is Cook. And McGee kicks to Daniels. There's the pass to Cook. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Can't get it to go. Now 6 or 12 from the floor. Now here's Moutier. Defense right on him. And it's Bradley. That time on the assist for Moutier. Moutier's got three assists in the game. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Cook the pass to Dutch. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Jared Dudley at the line for two. He's off on the first. George Niang, he's checked in for the Jazz. And the Lakers also making a switch. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. And the second free throw, good. Utah's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Williams Goss. And Utah again with the bucket. And so it's the Lakers with it. Passes the duck. Now Daniels. Pass to Caruso. Shot clock at six. From deep. A rebound by the Jams. Here's Williams Goss. A floater. A rebound by Cook. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Davis. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Here's Moutier. Hits the jump hook. Moutier's got 10 points in just the second half. And just not much more. You can say, guys, it's the end of the line for one team and a hard-fought, well-deserved trip to the NBA Finals for Los Angeles. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for LeBron. Boy, this game really had his name all over it. I mean, he relished being the guy to carry the load offensively. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Pass to Williams Goss. Another shot, and there's the bucket as Green finishes it off. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles.
You know, they had to battle through the very tough Western Conference, but they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the final. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East, and, and they're going to get straight to business in terms of prep for the finals. Still, they get to celebrate tonight, and they've earned it as champions of the West. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.